Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today we begin our look at Paul's letter to the Colossians. I will read the passage and then talk about where the title Walking Wet comes from. So let's get to it. The sun is the image of the invisible God, the one who is first over all creation, because all things were created by him, both in the heavens and on the earth, the things that are visible and the things that are invisible, whether they are thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He existed before all things and all things are held together in him. He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the one who is firstborn from among the dead so that he might occupy the first place in everything because all the fullness of God was pleased to live in him and he reconciled all things to himself through him, whether things on earth or in the heavens, he brought peace through the blood of his cross. Paul's letter is a mystery as to when it was written. Some scholars think it was written as early as the year 55. Others believe that Paul didn't even write the letter, but that it was one of his disciples, which would date the letter somewhere between 67 and 75. Now, since there is a disagreement on the authorship, this letter falls under the disputed letter list. And let me show you that letter list right now so you can see where Colossians falls under it. Colossae was located about 125 miles from the sea in what is now Western Turkey. The church in the city was not founded by Paul. Rather, it was a Christian minister named Epaphras. So why walking wet? Because baptism is a central reason for Paul to write this letter in the first place. There were some false teachers going around saying that the Colossians were not fully united with Christ, that they needed special knowledge and live in very strict ways in order to be fully unified with Christ. So Paul wants to convince the people that they already are unified with Christ through baptism. And because they are baptized and united with Christ, they can walk wet as it walk in the knowledge that they belong with Christ and live that walk every day. And as they walk, they can sing. Because our passage today from chapter one is an early hymn of who Jesus is and what God has done through Jesus. In this passage, Jesus is called the image of the invisible God who created everything, holds the universe together, whose death brings peace throughout the universe and who reconciled us with God. And to reconcile is to bring back, to restore to a level of peace. And that is what Jesus does. He restores the peace that was broken due to sin. With Jesus, there is peace again, a peace that no one can break. And that is a song we can all sing from Paul to us. That will do it for me today. Thank you for listening. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. You take care and God bless.